Hi guys, and welcome back to another quick Lightroom tutorial. My name is Manny, and in today's post, I want to show you guys a quick method how I edit this image in Lightroom. And basically, we want to just work a little bit with our basic sliders, our tone curve sliders, a little bit of a split toning, and also a gradient. All right, so let's get started with that. As you guys can see now at the moment, my image down here from my timeline, I picked my first image over here and it's looking quite dull and it could use a little bit of contrast and also a little bit pop, so it just pops a little bit more. All right, so let's get started with that. First of all, what I'm gonna do is go over here to my basic adjustments and in basic adjustments, I want to tweak my exposure a little bit and give that even more exposure. So it just gets that highlighted look. And then I want to take my shadows down here, darken the shadows a little bit, darken that and give that just a little bit push. Then also my contrast, just push that a little bit more. So we just get a little bit more contrast. As you guys can also see, the saturation does pick up now. So let's go down here and just desaturate this image a little bit. Okay, like that, that's looking better. Then I want to get out of this mode, go into tone curve and over here, first of all, try our medium or strong contrast. So let's try the medium contrast. That looks all right. And the strong contrast, that looks a bit too much. So let's go back to the medium contrast and work with our medium contrast. So over here, I'm not going to play too much with our curve, rather with the presets already. Okay, minimize this and we're going to go over to split toning a little bit and now I'm going to play a little bit in my split tonings. So first of all, I want to play a little bit with my highlights and then also in my shadows. So in my highlights, I wish to have a little bit of a reds and also yellows. So let's take that saturation up a little bit. As you guys can see already, it starts to pop way more just in color. Then also in shadows, I wish to have a little bit of a magenta and purple color in there. Let's take the saturation up a little bit more. Okay, that was a little bit too much take that down a little bit more and now I'm going to play a little bit with my balance either more of the shadow side or more the highlight side over here highlights and on left more shadows so let's tweak that a little bit onto the left again so we get a little bit more of those highlights okay so now last step that I still want to do is just go back here in my basic slider again and add just a little bit more contrast to this image so over here I'm going to take my blacks and move them a little bit down so it just pops a little bit more Okay, also take the saturation out a little bit again. I do, don't wish to have that image that orangey. Okay, like that. Okay, and last step that I will do is adding a little bit of effect, a vignette. So down here, change my amount of my vignetting a little bit, not too much. That wasn't too much already. Okay, and also play a little bit with my midpoint over here. Then we can take our amount up again from our vignette. Okay. And now I wish to add a last gradient onto this. So let's go over to the top, select your gradient tool, and I'm going to move a gradient all the way through and place the gradient just above here, a little bit down more, so we just have that highlight spilling. I want to first of all change my temperature, make this a little bit warmer, and also take the exposure up a little bit. Okay, and let's just try what it looks like if we take the temperature all the way up gets way more yellowish and warmish so let's take it down to say just 10 or 15 percent over here 11 percent okay so let's quickly combine our two images let's just say done over here and we're out of that mode go to our compare mode down here and now we can definitely see a difference a big difference already this is our before and after so we have more contrast and also a more focused area here in the center so the eye leads a little bit more onto the person Okay, so this is basically it for today's video tutorial. If you guys are interested in learning more about Lightroom and also the complete program, please be sure to subscribe to my Twitter or Facebook updates. I will be updating a complete Lightroom course from A to Z explaining everything from import to export to library module, develop module. I'm going to talk about map, book, print and web modules. We're going to talk through every adjustment panel and everything there is to know about Lightroom. So subscribe to the Ultimate Lightroom Experience. Over here, let me also show you guys a quick preview again. We're going to show you different techniques, how to do different adjustments onto your image, do black and whites, cross process, normal stuff again, and way, way more. So be sure to subscribe to my Twitter and Facebook updates and you won't miss a thing. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you still have any questions, please email me to team at manifotography.com today happy to help you with your questions all right guys thank you guys for watching and see you next week bye bye